they were very very happy to add from Infinita joining us, and she says she is very experienced in the weather space. Definitely, we wanted to hear about her story, and also wanted to experience the next generation of MOBA and esports with the Infinita team. And today we are streaming across Binance Live. So far, we have over three thousand live views. And friends, I hope you enjoy. And after yeah, this brief intro, we would like to invite Peg. Would you like to introduce yourself and letting us know about your journey in the weathery space? Sure, sure, sure. GM, GM. Let me just quickly、uh, headline Infinitar, and then then I'll tell you about me. So Infinitar is a MOBA game. We leverage the blockchain technology to allow gamers to own, trade, and sell their own digital assets, which are NFTs. Which I'm sure so much of this audience knows the、um, pros of them. So my journey. So I'm co-founder and CEO of Infinitar, and my journey is I got into, you know, you say long time was seven years, but I I almost feel like I'm I'm the graduating class I'm the class of 2017. So、um, there's so many people like. 2014, 2016, and and then a different wave at 2021 and 2020.、Um, but I'm excited for this run that we have right now because it gives us lots of opportunity. And、um, my my journey in it is I heard about Bitcoin back in 2014, and I won't go too deep, but around 20 didn't do anything. I just thought bank the unbanked, what a cool use case. And then 2017, I actually read about Crypto Kitties in the New York Times about how it crashed Ethereum. And then I was reading about Bitcoin again, and people were like, "How did you get in it so early?" And I'm like, "It was hiding in plain sight in the New York Times." So I went to a digital art fair, heard about、uh, crypto punks. They were like fifty dollars at the time. I bought a few, and that's how I actually just learned, like, just the wallet and MetaMask was buying. I bought and bred the Crypto Kitties, which they call themselves, you know, like a game, and then、um, the the punks. And then from there.、Um, I used to be a teacher at NYU, and so I'm used to presenting and teaching. So from there, I would teach、uh, people blockchain、um, through talking about NFTs. And then fast forward, I've worked at DeFi, I've worked in Metaverse, I've worked in gaming. And what I like about gaming right now in 2024 is I feel like this is the wave. That'll help bring more people onto the blockchain and Web three, but I know we're going to talk about Web three a lot, and those of our audience that are more、um, well versed in blockchain, I think if we put the word blockchain underneath all of this, it's just the technology, and talk about what Web three can do for the experience, we will really bring on a lot of new people into the ecosystem. Wow, Pat, respect. <laughs> lots and lots of great, yeah. Wow! Thanks sharing regarding the journey, right? From reading、uh, some news report and then、uh, right. to the NFT and also Bitcoin. That is just amazing. And also shout out to you, like you used to work in academia, and now are you full time in Web three? Yes, yes. So academia was actually not full time, but the people with the. Best and funniest and awesome part is, I could do like these amazing things, and then I mention NYU, and everybody like is like, "Oh wow!" Because it was when I was first asked, I was like, "Oh my god, this is such an honor!" So I would just do that.、Um, I just I just taught the one class, and it was called Media Relations, Present and Future. So that was like it was really fun, and it's also really interesting to tie it into different things. Like when we when people nay say Web three or blockchain, it's really just. Sometimes, like it is, some of the things are true. We do have bad actors, but there's just like the headlines really,、um, really、um, impact and influence regular people and how they look at Web three or blockchain. That is quite amazing. And also, what motivates Infinitar to develop a Web three mobile game? Since that,、uh, combining your experience, right? And also, yeah,、uh, the team members. Why、uh, does the team decide to create such a game? Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Infinitar. So we're creating a Web three MOBA game to tap into the massive audience of games, like say, like League of Legends. We're integrating the social fe- features the player, you know, players and gamers are used to, so they can build communities and form alliances with each other. And then the game becomes about more things because now we have the blockchain where we can offer. Um, we can offer different incentives than we used to be able to before with Web two, and so、um, the invite mechanism helps us grow quickly because the users can do like five by five teams and tell other people to join. We've got rare, you know, rare in-game assets.、Um, the unique twist 
of course, is blending gaming, social interaction, and financial opportunities. So the financial opportunities is really what's the, what makes, and, and the blockchain, but what makes Web3 Web3. Nice. And so from, well, your journey was, yeah, from Bitcoin, NFT, and then all the way to mm-hmm. gaming. And so how does Invita enhance the Web3 gaming ecosystem based on your experience and also the team's effort? Thank you. Um, so, well, I mean, the Web3 gaming ecosystem, um, so for ours, we have the experience of one to one, three to three, five to five. So there's team play. Um, I've worked before where uh, the gaming is like different people enter and it's it's a social game. I think that these, um, the features that say we have, it's intuitive, it's intuitive for the user. So it's built in uh, social with chat and sharing. And the game, of course, continuously updates with new heroes, weapons, events, um, different part. We're going to work with different partners and esports clubs to host events like the things you would see out of a Web2 um, company. Just again, to me, it's like we're expanding as a company and we want gamers to come in. And the blockchain is what gives us like a newer edge because it's new tech. So. Essentially, the idea here is the gamer's game and then the added features, including the financial incentives, is because of the blockchain. That is very nice. Yeah, well, I was, I was, I'm personally also a gamer and also a streamer. And I think playing game is more rewarding with the financial incentives, right? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> you know, definitely really attractive for a lot of people who uh, join yeah. Web3. And so, and because, yeah, from your... Um, experience with NFTs and also cryptos and Web3 games, what do you think that NFT within Infinita transform the blockchain gaming experience? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Great questions here. Um, so the NFT, right? And 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 there's a there's even the word I feel like NFT from the media part, I wish we could have a different word, but in gaming there's been what an NFT was was digital digital goods. And digital goods is so great. It's just what it is right but when it's an nft that's when um the user gamer like owns the um digital asset on the blockchain and for that they can um trade the heroes and the skins and then next level is they can stake the nfts for rewards and earn special nfts and then it creates a dynamic in-game economy offering substantial you know the economic benefits and I mean, enhancing the game experience, just like you just said, it's like, why not Would make money? And also um, it's like, okay, I'm tired of this skin. I can now sell it instead of just like, you know, say your your regular closet, you donate it, right? Um, so you can just sell it off and make some money back. Or um, what I think super interesting is then staking. So then staking kind of like, dips gamers toes over into the DeFi part of things because if they hear staking and just a DeFi tool they'll know what it is because of gaming so i feel like one of the things i used to talk about a lot was um uh, mass adoption how do we get mass adoption and even in this answer you know you heard me say like i wish we had another word for nft like we all know what it is regular people sort of know but it had such a wild ride in 2021 that it, it depending on who you say it to, it might have like web three people get it, but web two people might be like, oh, is that that? Like, you know, just say something bad about it, not knowing that really what the technology offers. And and so that's, that's kind of what I think there. Yeah, I totally agree with what you uh, say about that, especially yeah, staking rewards, right? And for a lot mm-hmm. of people, this is also a great way of, uh, they become diamond hands and then they receive mm-hmm. rewards and then by holding it right, and then continue mm-hmm. to support. So it's kind of like a win-win situation for both parties. And thank you so much, Peck, for answering the question to us. And yeah, um, today we have prepared a lot of questions to ask Peck and learn more about Infinitar. The next question we would like to learn about is that uh, um, you have been in the weather set for several cycles and how does it yeah. achieve rapid user growth, transforming from Web2 to Web3. Just like previously you mentioned, we always wanted to, we also talk about mass adoption, right? We also want to achieve it, but mm-hmm. how? Yeah, it's really interesting. So I think um, mass adoption has been coming and then through different ways. And as long as the 
uh, you know, I think that we also get at least a bug, like to be able once, like the light bulb goes on, that people stay in Web three and, and like the um, different opportunities. Um, and I'll get into like Infinitar specifically in a minute, but um, I. I also think though when people, so I, I always talk about this and I kind of mentioned this, it's like lingo and um, user user experience. So whatever it is in Web3, right? Or in, before it's just DeFi and NFTs. So if somebody comes from Web2 and they don't have a seamless experience, they're going to probably go back, especially in gaming because it's fast, fast, fast. Like, like, why would you do all these clunky things, right? And also, like I said in the last question, like our lingo, we have different words for everything and it can be a blocker for some people because they want to just understand and in the gaming oh one more thing about the cycles so the cycles different things have topped the cycles like um back when i heard about crypto kitties and then it was a game it really was about though that the price of bitcoin was at it was at an all-time high of like eighteen thousand dollars a bitcoin which was pretty high considering where it had been and um so that was part of the talk and what's interesting and i'm going to draw this out now but what's interesting is when i first heard about bitcoin i thought bank me on bank not oh i'm gonna i'm gonna get it and then sell it at eighteen thousand. although that was in the back of my mind i admit um it's just the mechanism for the tech is what's so interesting and that's how we're gonna get people in because um so we had the bitcoin you know then we had the nfts and the nfts was this interesting thing. Now we have meme coin gambling, which is fun, almost like a game. Um, but that's just looking at charts and hearing people on crypto Twitter. So for gaming, excuse me, um, Infinitar achieves rapid user growth by integrating Web2, the games, and what can be, you know, the fun and what people like about games. And then we have the seamless payment options. We partner with Web3 games and we have ad monetization and launching the game incubation program with the game dow governance fund and then we offer tools for managing the in-game assets and revenue and we just want to attract the web to gamers to enhance their user experience and we support developers of course but i think again like if if the game is a very good game and we make it easy for people to onboard and then they can also stake and make money and do different things that's how we want, you know, user growth and honestly, all of Web3 replace gamer with, you know, uh, investor versus, you know, collector and all of that. So it's just a matter of UI, I think. And, and then once people land that you have a really good product. Yeah, certainly, just like you say, right? As long as uh, the game itself is fun, right? it definitely would mm -hmm. yeah, attract more users, and then so mass adoption should not be a issue. So, um, as we know that more and more people are joining Web3 space, and how can regular users participate in farming in the Infinita ecosystem? Thank you. Yeah, so um, they can join our platform and for gold farming and enjoy the game, of course. And we are introducing, so with farming, we're introducing a daily task system where our users or gamers can earn points for the tokens through check-ins, activities, you know, battles, which is playing the game and inviting other people, which is, which is, I think something people traditionally do when something's very good, um, but also incentivizing is like reminds them to do it. Um, and then for professional gold farmers, <clears throat> excuse me, they can buy a hero NFT and uh, profit from one-on-one -on -one or five by five matches. And um, we've got early payback in one to two weeks. And then our NFT trading platform will enhance the liquidity and team registration will be available on our website soon. So really it's like almost anything someone does in the game really brings in a mechanism to earn and play and then the farming um it will be explained uh, within the game and how to do it got it okay friends so if you haven't tried it out be sure to do it and visit Invinitar's official web page and then you could mm -hmm. participate in farming as well so how does Invina ensure security of user assets because yeah you know, once people farm right, and during the process the users also connect their wallets to the site and how about any security measures thank you yeah this is like a real this is 
probably one of the most important things we have in Web3, especially to get more users. Um, again, in mass media, these these um, breaches get the most noise, not like how great a game is. Um, so we have to really take security um, seriously. So our security, we use um, advanced encryption. Um, we do regular smart contract audit, audits. And then we have secure wallet integration, real-time monitoring, um, user education on best security practices, and insurance coverage. So we we do comprehensive measures to create a safe and trustworthy gaming environment, which um, hopefully gives the gamers um, peace of mind while they play. Ah, got it. Thank you so much, Peg, for answering yeah. your question. And definitely, yeah, security is something that we all care about, especially Web3 space right now. Well, I always say it's kind of like a big dark forest, right? We don't know what <laughs> will happen. So always keep, yeah, um, very safe and, and if it has a place that we could trust, so friends, you could feel yeah. uh, very safe while playing your game. And so, yeah, put your assets yeah. in all it. Thank you. I feel like to keep to, to go a step further, like I mentioned it, but it's worth saying it again, in that it, it is really a barrier for us getting more people in, in Web3 that the media headlines will will scream about, you know, um, different breaks in security or even even I've seen stuff where, you know, I understand like a bounty programs source to hack but then when it goes to the media it's like hack and so that makes people nervous and then they don't even want to bother because say they come in and it's a little difficult and then they could get hacked and this is all playing out in the media not to say it doesn't happen but i think that's a major barrier to uh, have more people but again just to throw this out there i think that this cycle you know like in cycles we when there's a down cycle, everybody puts their head down and like we, we would prepare for that and just build, keep building the game and bringing people on. But I really feel like this cycle is going to be like the gaming will win and the narrative, you know, alongside of the meme coins, um, because people kind of get that. Um, but that's going to have a lot, a lot of negative press. And this we're actually giving the value of a game and making money. And um, but gaming people get get like there's web two gaming so it's just a matter of like bringing them over and making the lingo the ui easy and fun and then the lingo like not not um a barrier as well got it that's very well yeah. explained. thank you so much Pat. and last but not least of course we wanted to know what's coming up next right in infinite yeah. ecosystem do you mind to share some future plans or roadmaps with us thank you sure our future roadmap will be the launch of the beta version. So we want everybody to sign up and then we'll have the official version and in the app store and Google play store. And then we'll start the first season of gold farming, which then everybody can come in and learn. And we want to list on top tier exchanges. Um, our future plans include enhancing gaming features and expanding the NFT ecosystem. Uh, we'll have some rare assets, um, will implement the play to earn model and then of course building a strong community because without the community in the web3 ecosystem you really don't have anything but a product so we'll host we'll also host esports tournaments and web3 uh, gaming competitions globally that's very nice and yeah peg if there are any online events feel free to come back to our real Malai show so that we could stream that yeah gaming competition so it's going to be very exciting i remember we have done this for multiple times and for different web3 gaming projects and our audience will lot like to watch that as well and once again thanks on pat for spending time with us thank you are you still in east coast because i'm actually also in new york yeah i'm in new york i'm in union square right now oh my super early for us it's like 8 <laughs> 9 a.m <laughs> we are having our AMA yeah. session right now so that's why you said GM, GM. I just thought, okay, they stayed at night too, like me. <laughs> yep, I'm, um, here you go. Cheers to you with the coffee. Nice. So glad to know you, MPEG. Thank you so much for sharing all the information with us regarding Infinita. And we, yeah, definitely will like to invite you to come back again for yeah uh, thanks for having me showing us more about the gaming. And later, um, after this session, I will also 
go over to Pintata's、uh, official Twitter handle to show some video clips with our audience. Once again, thank you so、Great. much. Thank you.